Hey guys, uh, so a lot of you were wanting to know how to do like a um, Andy Warhol type of uh, design, something like this Marilyn Monroe. So I'll show you a fairly quick and easy way, just based on some experimenting that I've done. So I don't know, I'm gonna just gonna pick someone famous uh, in the media today. So Trump, pop culture. Let's get a picture of Trump like this. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this image into my Photoshop document, which has already been kind of set up for uh, the size that we want, which I think is 8.5 by 5.5 inches. I've also made sure to get high resolution. And again, you guys want to make sure you choose uh, usage rights labeled for reuse and make sure your size is larger than 4 megapixels. So actually, I should probably pick one that follows those rules. So I practice what I preach. All right, let's go with this one. Eh, no, I like this one. Copy it and paste. All right, so the first thing that I would do is kind of just divide this up into fours. So I'll, um, you know, I could use math here and pull my rulers out, probably the smart thing to do. But I'm just going to kind of wing it right now with my eyes. All right, and let's take these two and duplicate them. And if you don't know how I'm duplicating them, I'm just holding down Alt while I move them. So now we got these four guys. Um, first thing I want to do is probably put an adjustment layer on them that just uh, kind of crushes them. So let me go and make a curves thing here. And when I say crush, what I mean is take the whites and make them whiter, and the blacks and make them black, blacker. And I'm trying to get kind of a look like, oh, what is this? This. And it's kind of, everything's kind of dull too, so I'm actually going to go down here a little bit and up here a little bit, and I'll keep my blacks black. Something like that range. Not crazy about that, but let's go a little bit further here. And that's a lot of contrast. Let's tone it back just a bit. All right, let's say something like that. I don't know. You can, uh, you can play with it to get it to what you want it to be, but just play with these three dots until you like what comes out. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is, um, you know, there's a couple of methods here. I'll show you just kind of a really easy one. You just go in each of these layers and go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And then if you pull the saturation up, it gets this kind of crazy color thing going. And then you can play with the hue. So something like that. And then let's do the same thing to this guy. Image Adjust, Hue Saturation. Pull the saturation up just a bit and play with the hue. And you could maybe even, I don't know, don't, don't mess with the lightness. Because we're going to do that all at once if we're going to do that. Let's do uh, this one, image adjust, hue saturation. Let's play with the hue. Let's stick it way over here. And if, if you want to play with saturation, you can. Image adjust, hue saturation. And let's go over here trying to get as diverse colors as I can. Uh, da, 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 reddish. Okay. Something like that. Now if you want to, um, if we kind of compare that to the Merlin Monroe thing, it's not really the most, uh, you know, it doesn't look exactly like this. So you can also kind of come in and go to your uh, color balance. And you could, like, let's say, hey, I really want this one to kind of have more of like a, whatever. Play with those. Um, you could also uh, try something completely different, and I'll show you that method. So I'm just all Control Z in back here. Let's. I'll do this for this guy right here. And I've been kind of playing with this, and I don't know how well it looks, but basically the idea is, you change this to a different mode. So let me go. Let me go behind him and make a new layer. And I'm just going to take some crazy colors this layer. So let me just, you know, I got red, pink, blue, yellow. Let's just try um, going like pure yellow. Actually, I'll put it on top of him first so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's just color pure yellow here. And I'm doing this really sloppy because I don't want to take forever. Um, for the tie, let's just go, I don't know, like that. Let's say for his skin, we'll do something like this. And maybe for his hair, something like this. And you could do like his eyebrows and whatever. 
Maybe I'll just leave his suit alone. Okay, and then the idea is I'll take this and I'll stick it behind it. And on this layer right here, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get rid of the color information by desaturating, and then I'm going to change the mode right here to darken, and you end up getting something like that. Now, if you take your time and do it carefully, you'll end up getting some crazy colors. You could even try some other modes as well. Uh, again, that's a layer on top of this one. So, okay, I have to go. Someone's knocking on my door. Hopefully, that was helpful. Thank you, everybody.